humility leads to the secrets of God, wisdom. Okay? Like, places like this are just so full of lies. And, like, now that I've received the secrets of God and I live at the highest level of pleasure imaginable, I just realize that pride and arrogance keeps people far from God and His wisdom and His secrets. They, they simply, like, it's just too many lies. But, like, I, I remember being in Las Vegas and, you know, we were, like, I was way younger then and, you know, we, we were walking through the old... Main Street, and it was just trash. Like, and I said to my sister, we're out of here, because there was simply just too much trash. Um, but it takes humility before God. For God to help you and to invite you out of lies and out of foolishness and into wisdom, okay, that makes you truly happy all day on the inside, okay? So I have been set free. I have been called higher than anyone in this entire city. I walk through every single dumb business in this city knowing that it's in darkness and... I pray for this place, but it's everyone's own fault if you don't get the secrets of God. You have other you have other things in your life, you have idols in your life, usually it's humans or your own ego that prevents you from giving God the total time and attention and silent prayer that he deserves. And that's why they stay in misery. God is not to be finicked with. God is a person and he's the creator and he's infinite. If you treat him like a, an hour a week or a few hours a week, you're a total wretch. He won't give you anything. That's not respect for the maker. That's retarded. And that's why everyone in this city lives in poverty. Because they don't seek God. They don't give him all the time in the world. Because he's God. And he deserves every breathing thought and every breathing moment of your existence. Cut off all stupid human relationships that are not God-centric. Eliminate every dumb non-Christian thing from your life. And God will finally draw near to you. Do not expect to receive anything great from God unless you devote your whole life to Him. That's why I cringe when I see everyone in this town. And they think that they're cool. Many of them think that they're cool. And that's the problem. Pride. I began this message by saying, only humility will draw you near to God. And God will only reveal secrets and give grace to the humble. Get down on your knees. It's the beginning point of pleasing God.